All right, let's watch it. You're a professional athlete. You're supposed to carry me. You, just and you cannot that's carry me on four meatballs. This is for professional athletes. But you already ate four meatballs. You're gonna see. Just Bro, Spanish people, in my experience, are the most picky eaters on the planet. Javier didn't eat vegetables. This guy is only eating meatballs. Razor can't eat anything that is green. Hey, this, the, the, the Spanish people, in my experience, the most picky eaters on the planet. In my experience. Can't eat green things. What kind of a fucking conclusion is that? <laughs> it's Hank? Oh my god. Alright, we need to win time. We need to win time, guys. I need to pack, so this is valuable packing time. I want you to keep practicing the habit, like keeping your habits clean and your instincts clean. So don't flip that much. Yo, Oscar. Sly Cooper Addict, thank you very much for that one. Uh -huh. Oscar, I want you to play smart, understanding when you can make it volatile talk and when not. Ivan, I want you to continue playing discipline, competitive games, how you were. I want you to fight with the teammates when they're nearby and only then, basically. So continue doing that and then another goal for you is like work closely with Hank. Talk together if you guys are doing a play together or you're apart and being as much as on the, you can as on the, on the same screen. Uh, Martin, uh, I want you to bring uh, the good energy and the comps that you usually do. Basically, then you're commenting on everything and people are in direction to the team and it helps, mainly regarding voting. Hank, the same for Ivan, right? I want you to work closely with Ivan communicate together and then on top of it on top of it I want you to think more about when and how to use Red Pinker to get as many words on one sweep as possible. So now I want everyone to focus on playing for the patterns, playing for the habits. So we get the feeling or we get back on the track where we're we're practicing every game, we're improving every game. So this is something that will then help you and it's only what will help you on stage because when you guys will have the fight or flight response, only the habits and instincts will sort of overtake, like the subconscious will overtake. So I want us to focus on these patterns that will then um, make us have a higher chances of winning on stage. I can play Camel and uh, Orange Coach. Okay. Yeah, what, should, what should I ban Coach? Uh, should probably ban Rakan, I think. Uh, Rakan, okay. Yeah, Rakan. Mm, that's a good ban. I want a J4 top here. Nice, nice. They will go out here for in trash, but it's like I, don't I don't mind. Care. I don't care. Good job, good job, Coach. I think you are drafted already. Thank you. Freeze, blink, 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 blink. Coming up with the guy. So, freeze, come back, roll, swap. So, uh, <laughs> Wait, I, I, Coach Oscar, yes. what do you think support should play in the trash? Blitzcrank. Uh, I think support should be playing um, some Nautilus. <laughs> uh, so you fucked up two? I fucked up, we are starting at two. Oh, my love. Fuck you. 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 It's fine. It's fine. No worries, man. No worries. It's oh okay. God. Mistakes happen, Hiva. So coming into the Australia series, I feel like our preparation was basically what happened in the first game. So in the first game, we felt Man's head is looking like hey. Taking too many fights, basically at any time they could fight, they would fight. Some of them would be good for us, some of them would be good for them, but they had no filter in which fights they were choosing. They were just taking any fight. Game two was more surprising because we actually ended up having an early lead and then it was something we could carry on for the rest of the game. Game three, we fell behind early and we couldn't really find too much footing in the game. Some, some good fights, but not too much footing. I think that was more draft related than play related. We were in a winning spot most of the time. And we just threw like really badly a lot of the times. And yeah, then we lost. It was only best of three, so. Totally, Mark Brazda. I was surprised actually with how just woke up. we had. I mean, we've had good pre practice pretty much the entire time. Maybe now is actually the time when we're not having so much Good practice anymore but just the fact that we could go on stage and have that kind of performance surprised me because we had a lot of tough games on stage previously just a different face to the team than than we would normally show in scrims and i felt like last week's game against astralis was much more aligned with how we normally play in scrims so that made me happy because that gives me confidence coming into today's game and how has uh, practice been this week it's been good <laughs> <laughs> well, once in your fucking life, man, bro. Uh, okay, okay, can you get a uh, PK gold in 10 minutes? We, we, say, we, 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 had, we had it yesterday, actually. But yeah, but this game. Good draft, 3k gold. Check. Yeah. <laughs> but then if I don't get 3k gold, then, now, then it means it's not my good draft. Now I have to focus. Right, Renata was mega broken. Uh, I said so. 
Eh, I've been saying it, we have to figure it out and here. No, you don't know shit. How can you do three What's happening? And again, very important point. They are, they are like this during scrims? That's the, that's the only thing I want to see today. Fuck you, Jay Garrett. I will make fun of you guys. No matter what, then you guys just suck it up. Don't you hang. Oh my god. There's no way this game is going to be good, by the way. But how is this outdraft from you? What do you mean? If we had Renata... <laughs> yeah. Why did you pick me Renata, man? What the fuck? Honestly, I think that draft is the worst draft ever in Some losers, some wins, you know. Uh, just the usual. We only played like, I think, four days? Or five? I don't actually know. Uh, so, I mean, it wasn't that much time. A few days were kind of disaster, but a few days were really good, I think. And the uh, one I saw improvement in that regard, you guys were talking a bit. Bro, everyone has so much new Fnatic merch. We were more aware of where the other one is, and we were playing together. That's insane. Continue doing that. Martin, you did really good yesterday by being vocal and saying what you want to do, how you want to play. The way they try to win the games is they will be mid jungle that can play together that has a good synergy and then they just try to play rock mid and rock a lot early they tend to do some shit bot lane like innovate and stuff. yeah this this i slept in that room i see mad as a team <laughs> that, I see mad that uh, as a team that likes to play uh, a jungler that doesn't do as many camps and tries to gank a lot, so it's a different kind of scrappy. It's more, we need to be careful not to give Niski too many plays when he's running around, not to let Elioia get too many ganks off in the early game. I mean, I think they look a lot worse than last split, so I don't think they're like at their top level right now. We know what we want to play, I think, today. We have a good plan of what we want to do. We have basically like a lot of champions on every role that we know we are good at and we are just gonna pick them, you know, <laughs> and we are not gonna like try something really weird or crazy. And it's, it's been working for us usually, so I think it's gonna be fine today as well. Oh, we'll be watching Champions Cube for MSI 100% case. Boaster power. If we don't win now, then... Shout out boaster to really, power. Then it's Boaster <laughs> power. Like, how can we not win? Yeah. Ooh! Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. nice. oh, oh no, what? my dick. <laughs> 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 Mark is leaving the ship. To brighter horizons. <laughs> <laughs> he is kind of like a this pirate. He looks like the first fucking light year on this one. <laughs> this is Captain Mario, actually. To the stars, to the infinity. <laughs> no, and beyond. Is your turn, Martin? Actually, this is light for the dark. Cartoon has a mega crack. Look, this is the time. fucking Jedi. Fucking Kazi's pose, I'm gonna show you guys. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, thank you, Thomas. Oh. Actually, you won the critics on this. Mega. <laughs> <laughs> don't you feel Bingo somewhere? You know? I think okay, I, I thought my picture was bad, but no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? This one is the best? Fuck. He he look at he 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 But he, so. he, his picture is crazy, but yours is just too much. I don't know how to do it. He's already losing it before he gets two words out. <laughs> <laughs> when they just go to a restaurant? No, bro, I can't say this in camera. <laughs> Dude, Martin, is this tight for you? Or is it like no. light? No? Like, oh shit, I forgot this. At home. You have to fix it all the time. For you, it's tight? It's mega. Because, because you have I'm so big arms. Actually, yeah. I don't like your tie. I'm just saying. Oh, you like what? I don't like your tie. Why? It's matching with my eyes. It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what to say to that. Like, yeah. Actually, well done. Yeah. <laughs> why the col Why that color? You could have uh, been this color. I mean, I have only this time. I I'll be honest. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to bullshit. No. Yeah. Please don't. I just have this. It's crazy. You have one fucking job. <laughs> I am actually more nervous for today's game than I think I would be tomorrow. Man has nothing to lose. They've had a shit season, but that normally means they have nothing to lose. They're playing with zero pressure because no one of them or any of their fans expect them to do any good. So that game has zero pressure and we have a lot of pressure. I know it can swing so fast. We go into game one, make a couple of mistakes, zero one down, backs against the wall. And they have no pressure again. They're probably laughing backstage between game one and game two. So yeah, we need to really like be present today, I think. You still have to look at the players Matt have. Even if they are not figuring it out as a team, they still have 
Hilly, who's a world championship player, how would you say, like one of the best players in the world, or has been at some point? Carsi has won trophies, Elioya is seen as one of the best junglers, Niski has played here, been in multiple different teams, and done really well on almost all of these teams, and a Korean top laner, so it feels almost... <laughs> and a Korean top laner, like, what can we do? A tough time, because they actually have good players. They actually have finished second in winter. We're here on stage again. <laughs> We've been here last week. You guys know that, I mean, we should have one, it doesn't matter. Just focus on, you know, what to do next. Don't dwell on the mistakes. Bro. It's feel free, expect it to go to I love Today, that. If we have to draft that we most likely will have, just keep My man says, he brings up the past, and then he says, guys, don't dwell on the past. There was the game, the last time we won stage, we should have won. Don't dwell on the past. Focus. <laughs> Standing, keep breaking them, and if we are behind, just focus on how do we come back because we will. They will be doing mistakes, okay? Yeah. And and silly Hilly. Okay. Silly. So in my mind, Hilly is Mad Lion's X Factor. He's X Factor in whichever team he plays. Hilly for. completely one with nine, by the way. Hilly is, and how he plays. If I would be coaching Hilly, or coaching against Hilly, I guess either way. I would be really thinking a lot about getting him on his picks, getting him a counter matchup where he can play Pike comfortably or Rakan comfortably or whatever else he's cooking. Maybe he's cooking a Brom. He's really good at Brom. I think if he has some sort of escape mechanic because I think he does put himself in danger a lot of times. So if he can bait the enemy in, escape out, that's the X factor coming into play. So for me, that is a big point today. Hilly Sang. One, okay. Three, two, one, go. Totally. The way the Fnatic players talk about Hilly, it might, might seem that they they might want to recruit him. Honestly, Hilly on Fnatic, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? Why did you slip in the goal, to go three to one and then go. That's exactly why I said I should not do it, guys. Like, I'm honest <laughs> one, with myself. Two, one, two, one. That was that's so impressive. The speech was good, but yeah. I no, said, three to one go for that age. And you're like, no, 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 you come. Like, Bro, you never done a huddle in your life. It's like every huddle goes like three to one or one to three, and you're just like, I'm gonna say it, let's do go. It's a very awkward situation for both teams right now, but Mad seemed to be way more comfortable. Fnatic looking for the collapse. Mad just willing to wait it out. Season to six goes in. Boom. Enemy Jarvan. Enemy Jarvan. Enemy Jarvan. Oh, Niski! Oh, the flip, the cancellation, baby. Boom. Oh, huge Renato ultimate. Slicing Maze from Chasey. Doesn't fin get the finishing touches. Advian survives. Damn. Oh, Hilly. I want to give you a man hug, Hilly. Let's go, Hilly. Where are all the Hilly haters now? Where are the Hilly haters now? That's my boy. So blue and then yep. or Ari? The Herald situation we should be handling way, way, way better. For no reason we pressured ourselves. We had an incredible timer and it was completely free. It was, yeah. That was a terrible Herald situation. That's it. There was like a misunderstanding where you took the wave. Then we were scared if they can dive, but the herald was free. They they don't they don't have wave, so they on that wave cannot dive. So it's really messy. So you guys just have to take overview on the game and then call because there is like everyone is insecure and no one knows what to do. One uh, other thing, we have Renata, we have Severe. They're coming into us and we are scared and we want to give up someone. Just keep on the on the second herald in the tribush. If they go into us in these chokes. 
We get four men Renata out, we fucking ace them, don't be afraid to fight. Just bang them, because we are scared and we're running away and we're letting them fight us. But I have a feeling like in, back. in the ghetto we are afraid to take a, a short path in when we see all, everyone, you know? I couldn't take short path in. I was gonna take the plant around. But why you couldn't go to the river? Because why I was there. If she goes on you and, uh, and she fuck up to the spell shield and, and she doesn't get the spell shield, she's like here, you know, here. Like I was doing midwave, he showed on the brush next to me on mid. Because you guys started Herald while I was doing midwave. I think the issue is you start Herald too early, so then they disconnect me and I have to go around and take the plant. You took the Herald or not? I yeah. did, but they yeah. flanked us. I can take free. one both for free. But they flank us. I mean, I will die to do for the Herald. Yeah, but you, you will die one. No, more people, they will chase. Oh, we were fine. We just made German combo out. But that fight, I mean, that fight is very favorable for us. Like, the, I, I see four men run up that Bro, they're not even agreeing oh, right now. Like, they don't agree in game, they don't agree even now what they should do. It's gonna be about adapting on site. Because you never really know what they're gonna throw at you. You never really know what's gonna work for you. So I think on site we need to be really on, on point with adapting. If something doesn't work in game one, we're fast to fix it in game two. Or if something works really well in game one, we make a secondary plan if they start banning that out. So we are not just playing Boris three games, which we did last week. I think that was something that I regret from last week. I didn't take more agency in saying, I think the game is going late. It's all about team fighting. And then Boris loses a lot of its power because Boris is about early game. I'm gonna try to do that better today. Just be more honest, like they're playing this way. This is how we are playing. This is how the game is going. What works in that? game, kind of game, and then try to adapt it. But anyway, what are we doing for next game? Uh, we're going blue, and we will ban Rakanani, and then we can ban Gragi. There are gonna be fights only around Herald and Drake, so mm -hmm. if you wanna do the Maokai compu, you can do it. Because in, in, my, in my eyes, Byte did nothing this game. Like, we yeah. completely gave the, the game away for free. Jamming. Jamming, jamming, jamming. Rinning is the target once again. Damn. It's like week one all over again. Constantly Oscar in the target. Dodges everything though. The lightning crash coming out. Kazi tanking the tower now. Adio is gonna do it afterwards. Radiant Virtue giving him a little bit of healing as Oscar Winning looks like the blind. Armor boss that Oscar Winning going a little bit too deep. Leave cannon he open. Leave. Take out the 1v1. Meanwhile, Reckless coming in looking for a little bit more. That said you was pretty cringe. Flash available to him. Rooted off gets to the blast. Tone will get away. Reckless with a double. Advian chase. Take the kill, Advian. Oh no! Reckless is like, guys, I'm really strong. Fight around me. Oh shit! We're getting aced. Uh, come on, guys. I'm so fed. And Reckless is like, guys, I'm gonna cross map. I'll do the wolves, I'll do Gromp. No problem, guys. I'll cross map. Oh shit. You missed the train. Like, even this is so fucking weird. <laughs> Two people hex gate out, and there's a fight. Oh man, both of these teams are so uncoordinated, man. Good Blitzcrank game from Advian. Good game from Reckless too. It's a very easy Zaya game though. We Full melees. Lose, bro. Like, be a bit more confident. We're back. Okay, freeze. Relax, freeze. It's one game. How's it going? Everything good? It's good, yeah. 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 Looking forward to seeing you smiling in the Bro, Brox is too <laughs> wide, man. He's fucking bursting out of that suit jacket. Asking, care they're fishing for you. How you play? Insane. I mean, He's I, spending I, so I, much I time in top. No, that's, I'm praising like... you. I'm praising you because he is spending so much time. <laughs> I don't think I was trolling this game. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Care about the Sinili. Oh. We were surprised that he stopped side guys. Oh, what? Oh, Hello? We are it's right me. there, blue. Yep, that's what I was expecting. <clears throat> nice. So, the uh, the bands that before this game, they banned Olaf Jax. <laughs> okay, they banned Olaf before, they banned Zaya, and they banned Lissandra. And I think against this team and how we are playing, we should just uh, focus on team fighting on tricks. Like, this is the only thing that's happening. Just yep. All right, then we go. I've never had Prime. 
I think any drink that is blue, I think is sketchy. Blue to me is artificial. Water is blue, water is transparent, bro. Boom. Yeah, I was screening, got ganked once by TF, and then he got fucked, man, for the rest of the game. Boom. Ah, red card. Oh, Kazi into this fight. Elioia also could have played slower because Jinx was already hitting. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, Reckless Flash. Advian trolling all his spells. Advian, Reckless, Oscarini. Smile wider when you are staring in the face of the enemy that are defeated. Like we 100%, right? Yeah. Maybe we just need to TP on the cannon and the minion will tank? No, we need to do TP on the uh, uh, lantern. Obviously, it's to like this. What to say about this game? We got behind by a lot on every lane, basically. Um, you guys still stayed in the game. You fought well, and then you get back into the game, and then we had options to close it out and, and win. Uh, and we fucked up. Uh, happens. I obviously wanted to go farther than this, and I think we should have, and we should be able to. So we will have to then look back onto the season and, and see what happened or what we did bad that we couldn't handle uh, going back uh, further but you, you you can at least see for yourself that in bo3 we there will be a lot of mistakes and okay you can always come back yeah we probably only could play the nexus thing better mm -hmm. with tp when the crypt is tanking maybe up, like one or two auto spell. attack Maybe like one or two auto attacks was missing. Actually, yeah, we're also taking damage from the towers, right? Because we ran out of crypts. But if we TP on the, the crypt, we won't have run out of crypts, so we have more HP. I wanted to TP on the cannon, and we will have three minions instead of two, and we just ignore the rail and hit you. I think we end. Yeah. Like we yeah, are, no, we have so much, so much on on Ari, like so much AP. We want some towers. I mean, in the first place, we should not be in position where we're kind of getting. Or we are behind on every lane. But it felt very, very hard to team fight against them. Like, uh, I just can't play. Like, I was me get getting mega CC.
I was cutting and shaved. Big mistake. Big mistake. It doesn't really matter which way. You know, if you lose, you get stomped, it sucks. If you lose, when you can win, it sucks. So it sucks. You play to win. If you can't win, then what a year for you know. So that blows. After a series, after a split, you have a lot of regrets or things you could have changed. I thought we had good momentum. I thought we had a good chance, and maybe that's why it like stings more. Uh, I thought we would beat these guys. I thought we could beat Astralis as well. And I'm just really happy that I can learn more about League of Legends and also find the confidence in my picks. You know, the, today the Blitzcrank game, I was always for some reason afraid to play Playmakers because I thought I might, you know, not do it well enough. But today at least showed me that I can do it and I can have an impact on the game if I am confident. And didn't he play like Nautilus only? And uh, yeah, just like growing as a player on stage, as a player within a team environment. It was a pleasure for me to like, play this place with you. Like comparing how we were in Winter Split and like how shit it was or, or split. Yeah, I'm just saying he played the Blitz and he said he can play Playmakers, but he was playing Playmakers, at least in my opinion, like Raka and Nautilus. I had so much fun like in the office with you and daily and even scrims. Like I was enjoying the day to day with you guys. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Today was a shit day or like things were rough. But I'm proud of you, I think. You guys did fucking good for your first split in, in LEC. But I want to let you know that I appreciate the time I spent with you in, in this in this split. Yeah, and I want to say that it was the same, you know, I, had, I could, you know, come in with good energy because it was fun to work with you, it was fun. Yeah, but it, like you were and coming and it was a hard position from you because you were sc screaming with the academy, you know, and it was like a fast thing or you had to adapt really fast. And like, even though Oscar, you might had a, like a last a bad last game, or like you feel like like that. I think you did fucking good. You're in, fucking insane, Oscar. I think you did really good in LEC, and you showed everyone your talent. You are 19, and like people will like people know that you are good, and you will have your time to show. Them, okay. It warms my heart to see Oscar go like this and coming in the first week and then seeing him That's go nice second even. week, third week and now I feel like he's on his path to becoming one of the best top laners in LEC if he keeps going like this. It's funny how it always is like that, right? It's like... In the past, Eva needed to be protected after a tough series, you know? Or like the, the whole... the T1 story, right? It's like when Faker lost the finals, the, the, the first finals he lost, right? He fucking broke apart, you know? He broke apart. And then when they lost the finals more recently, he saw himself in... Uh, in Korea. And he knew that he needs to take care of him, you know? I like that Ivan sees that he needs to take care of his homies here in this moment, you know? I'm just really happy to see that and be near that and be along for the ride. So yeah, it just warms my heart to see Oscar grow in that sense. What are you gonna do before summer splits? What's the what's the plan? I mean, I think uh, it's it's what I always do. Is I'm probably gonna take a little break from the game, try to refresh, see friends, hang out, maybe go on a little holiday. I don't know. Before any split starts, I will start grinding again and make sure that I'm in the best form ever. And I'm actually so extremely motivated as well to just go back again and come in with the confidence i got through this split and do really well the next one i really love the game i really love competing and i feel like i'm getting better every day really yeah i'm just really stunned by the fact that there were so many positive messages like every day i would play people in my solo queue would message me like hey uh you're smurfing keep it up well done you guys uh, go you know on my twitter i get dms a lot of like people saying I love the way you play I love the energy you add all that kind of stuff and uh, I've never had that before in my career and it's just I think it's amazing it just lifts my spirit you know and so I just want to thank everyone that's been supporting us even through the split that you guys may not have I know Fnatic fans get memed a lot right because of the extremes but a lot of the Fnatic fans are, are good people most of them are 
It's just that with any group that is large enough, the extremes will just be louder because they'll be amplified, you know? So it's fun to meme on those extremes, right? Always, but the majority of Fnatic fans are super cool and super nice. Unless you leave Yumi open. Then it's... All the pitchforks come out. <laughs> Alright. Pete, you legend. It's a good video.